One of your priority measures in committee this week, I believe, Senator, and it's Senate Bill 138. Yes, 138 would be a work requirement for SNAP benefits for head of household. You know, work is a good thing, and in today's world, you know, we have a substantial amount of taxpayer dollars going to these sorts of programs, but the ultimate chief end game of these programs is to get people back to gainful employment and being a productive member of society. And this just would kind of require that search to start that work process to get out of poverty and get out of these assistance programs, which is, like I said, the chief end goal of these programs and why we've established them. Those are programs that were designed for, hence the name in them, a temporary assistance. That's right. You know, it's supposed to be supplemental nutrition assistance. You know, unfortunately, it has evolved and morphed into more of just taking control of people's lives in, in many instances because people become so dependent on them and there's no push to get out there and to become, like I said, productive member of society. And that's what this does. And if we have people that are refusing to work and they're able-bodied, I want to preface that they have to be able-bodied if they're disabled or or whatnot, they would not be subject to this rule. There are states that currently do this, 11 of which are very left-leaning that you wouldn't think would be participating in work requirement programs, but they, you know, saw the benefits and the need to institute this and has worked well for them. So concept of, as you say, work showing that you are taking the initiative to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, that's that's right. These sort of provisions rub people wrong. That's not the intent to rub people wrong, but it's to get them back in the workforce and to get out of the poverty, to be a producer of society. So a lot of times work is associated as being bad and punishment, but no, work is a great thing. It's a good thing. And that's what we're called to do to provide for our families.